Hello students, and welcome to another episode of Coach Stroud's What to Read While Quarantined. This is episode seven, and I'm coming to you live from the wilderness. Yes, even though you can, we're quarantined, you can still get out in public as long as it's in private places that you are, you know, not a lot of people are in. Uh, so if you get out, smell the fresh air, take the rain and enjoy its freshness as well and enjoy your time out out of your house but please stay safe by all means stay safe and stay 20 feet away from everybody that being said i want to bring up three pieces of young adult literature for you teenage literature for you that some of you might enjoy reading first off we have william goldling's the Lord of the Flies. This book is a beautiful classic piece of literature about a young group of boys who are stranded on a tropical island. How are they gonna survive? What are they gonna do? Who's gonna be in charge? Who's gonna take over and take care of these boys? Should it be the older ones? Should it be the smartest? Should it be the most popular? We don't know. But what I can tell you is you can have firsthand vision of these characters descending into madness. It's absolutely brilliant. You guys are gonna love this book. If you have not read it with me before, you're gonna love it. I highly recommend it. It can get a little long and wordy at times, and uh, honestly, it should be shortened <laughs> a little bit, but overall, it's a great read, and I know you'll enjoy it. Secondly, we have James Lincoln Collier and Christopher Collier's My Brother Sam is Dead. For those of you who enjoy revolutionary reading, this is a great pick for you. This book is about the uh, literally months and days leading up to the start of the Revolutionary War. And it's fantastic because it comes down to which side are people going to take? Are you going to be a Tory or somebody who still sides with England? Or are you going to be a part of the revolutionists who get together and band to fight for freedom? My brother Sam is dead accurately reflects the feelings of those times with young individuals who wanted to join the military. And our main character here, Tim, his brother Sam, joins the revolutionists. And I wonder if you can guess what happens to him in My Brother Sam is Dead and I just dropped the book. <laughs> That's okay. Um, <clears throat> and the last pick I have for you today is a beautiful piece of fiction. It is one of my favorite books of all times. It's one that I highly suggest everybody pick up and read. It's very common. You can find it in the libraries. You can find it on Amazon. It is Lois Lowry's The Giver. Now, what we're facing right now is kind of a we are in not a utopian society, but we're in a very good society. But what would happen if the government took over everything and changed it all for the better? Would you start seeing things in black and white like they do in the story? Or would you still see color? But what happens when you find out that everything you know has been a complete lie? What would you do? That's what The Giver's about. It's a utopian, dystopian society, and our main character, Jonas, has to face a lot of challenges and questions about life and how things should be done in the world. It's a good read. I highly recommend it. Comes from, it's a beautiful series of books. There's four of them. Uh, there's The Giver, Gathering Blue, The Messenger, and Sun, and that's a great, great book. All right, it is raining hard on me right now. Uh, this is Coach Stroud signing off. You guys, my students, I love you and miss you like crazy. Have a good rest of your week. Bye, guys.